In this video, I will be demonstrating the male rat castration, which we also call as neutering of rats. <clears throat> and uh, it has uh, several benefits. Uh, since we know uh, this uh, rat castration, uh, it reduces the uh, risk of spraying and uh, marking. And uh, obviously, uh, it uh, has uh, the males have less desire to roam. And uh, by that way, there will be less chances of getting an injury to the male. And one more thing is uh, there is a there is a risk of testicular cancer that uh, that's also reduced significantly when we uh, remove the testicles. Uh, and uh, one more uh, testicular disorder, which is related to the testicular disorder, is blind prostatic hyperplasia. Uh, those uh, rats which have been castrated have less chances of getting benign prostatic hyperplasia. And uh, this video is a part of our research work uh, that is, uh, we are working on uh, effect of several drugs on benign prostatic hyperplasia in rats and uh, this is uh, going to be the part of uh, this, our research work. Uh, it has proper approvals and all the things, relevant things which are being required. Let's watch. First of all, we will take the rat from the cage and we have kept the rat for 4 hours fasting. I will take the weight. This is the first part. In order to calculate the exact amount of anesthesia, let's see. It is one ninety three grams. Now we are choosing the anesthetic combination of xylazine and ketamine, and uh, that is the most possible anesthetic combination which we have, which we have availability of. And uh, we'll be using this xylazine at the very low doses as compared to the recommended doses. We are using at the rate of 5 mg per kilobyte weight, whereas the recommended doses are 50 to 30 mg per kilobyte weight. So we have found a good level of anesthesia and uh, a good recovery by selecting this dose. Probably there may be some variation in different breeds of uh, rats, but for the star rats, uh, this, uh, dosing, this, dosing, uh, this dosage of anesthesia is this is the intraperitoneal injection of Zarazi, which will be followed by ketamine. That's 0 0.4, uh, this 0 0.4 ml of ketamine. So far, as the body weight of 190 grams is concerned. We have achieved the anesthetic effect. Uh, we can monitor the heart rate and pulse as well. It takes some five minutes to get the effect of anesthesia. <coughs> We'll start the surgery. We are using 70% ethyl alcohol. We'll start with the midline incision of scrotum. Two testes. the skin of the scrotum.
this is the end of the testes. We'll just use our deposit to close this. We'll be using this suture that is a cat cut 40 or 30 that is desirable from it for suturing. We should ensure double knotting so that the first suture may not slip. Okay, it's intact. I'm switching. This is the first testicle. to ensure the sutures have been placed well in the position and there is no bleeding. Uh, we will be looking for the another, one, uh, another testicle. After switching, we'll be cutting down the second testicle from the base. Okay. So this way we have completed the uh, removal of both the testicles. We are supposed to suture the the scrotum by non-absorbable sutures. We'll clean the wound by using the armor slime after that we will be using some little wash of ID using the skin sutures maybe one, two or three depending upon the incision size.
will give a final iodine wash and that's it we are done 15 minutes post surgery uh, we have uh, we are witnessing the recovery of the rat uh, he's resuming his normal functions and is absolutely fine